when you ran for office in 2006, did you uh, did you have anybody assist you in running your campaign? Yeah. Who, who, did you have officers, treasurers, things like that? I did. Who who was your treasurer? For a short time, it was uh, Liam Paul. Okay. Did Lim Park contribute to your campaign? He did some. Did Scotty Park contribute to your campaign? Not that I ever remember. Okay. Has Scotty Park ever paid you money no. for any other reasons? No. Okay. Um, would you agree that you have the duty to uphold the law and administer the law equally to all citizens, regardless of race, creed, color, origin, things like that? I would. Would you agree that you have the duty to administer and uphold justice and administer the law equally to all persons regardless of whether they've worked for your campaign? Correct. You would agree with that? Correct. Okay. Um, has anybody that's ever worked for your campaign been the subject of an investigation uh, by the Humphreys County Sheriff's Department? Lemuel Park. Mr. Lim Park? Mm hmm And tell us uh, the circumstance where Mr. Lim Park was uh, investigated. I, I, or was subject of an investigation. I know that he was um, investigated by the the drug guys that we had at one time, and and uh, I think they eventually made an arrest on him. Okay. Would you agree that as Humphreys County Sheriff, you have the the responsibility to um, investigate all allegations of theft or fraud equally, regardless uh, or as aggressively? As each other person alleged to, let me ask that again, it's a terrible question. Would you agree that as uh, Sheriff of Humphreys County that you have the responsibility to uh, investigate all causes, uh, all allegations of fraud and theft without interruption from the Sheriff's office? Say Check that again. Check the form, go ahead. Say that again. I'm not following you on that. Okay. That's Mr. Griffith, I'm no, sorry. I don't care. Um, Sheriff, would you agree that you have the responsibility to investigate all allegations of theft that come to the department's attention? Yes. Okay. Would you agree that it would be improper for the sheriff's department to impede an investigation or delay an investigation intentionally without cause? Impede or... Would you agree that it would be improper for your office to obstruct the investigation into theft or a theft of of property yeah i guess i don't okay were you ever was it ever brought to your attention by any member of your staff that um, there were allegations that limpock had stolen items upon his property yes Okay, and did you do anything? Uh, who brought that to your attention? I don't. Rem I don't remember that. Okay, do you remember any circumstances surrounding that investigation? I remember that uh, there was some information about a stolen trailer, and uh, we actually, I'm, uh, Ronnie Tongue Ed, and I actually went out and looked at that trailer and and re made a recovery. Okay. Of that trailer. All right. Was there any delay in the investigation, or to your knowledge? Was there a delay? Yes, sir. I can't. I don't. I don't have a clue. I mean, that's. I don't know why the. I, I don't know what you're asking. Was there a delay? We had the information. I got with Ronnie Tung Ed, who was the detective at that time, and we went out there. Okay. Did um. What is Ronnie Tung Ed's title? What do you call? Now him? he's court officer. All right. What was it at the time of this Slim Park investigation? Detective. Okay. Uh, did Ronnie Tongue add as a detective into this Slim Park investigation? Did he urge you to get some type of warrant to search the property? I don't. I don't. You're talking something that was what five years ago? I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How I mean, that's that would have been their decision to have done that whoever was investigating the case i'm not i don't i personally don't tell guys to go get warrants or apply for warrants or whatever i mean 
I figured that if he said they weren't needed to be done, he would have the knowledge on how to do it. Okay. So you leave it to the uh, detective uh, as far as how to handle the investigation. You don't take any role in that. Is that accurate? I mean, I'm, I stay involved in CID cases as far as trying to, to get the direction and stuff going on some of the cases now, but I never, I don't ever remember doing that with, with Ronnie because he pretty much knows what to do. Okay. Do you ever uh, ask an investigator to halt or stop their investigation and you take over an investigation? Do you ever do that? Object to the form. I, I don't... I don't know that I've ever done that. No, I don't. Okay. I don't remember ever doing that. Okay. After, um, I want to go back to this Limpock incident one more time. Can I ask a question? I, I was writing this down and I don't hear that well. Is there a spelling for that last name? P A L K. P A L K. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and first name is. L-E-M is my understanding. It's, okay. it's Lemuel, but it's, he goes okay. by Lim. Thanks. L-E-M. Do you still interact with Mr. Polk, Lim Polk? I, I've seen Mr. Lim on a couple occasions. Um, I just, uh, other than nothing than having to be at the same place, same time, bumped into him at the Irish picnic. Okay. Um, after Ronnie Tungat discovered what appeared to be Potential stolen property on Limpox's property. Did you go with Mr. Tungett to examine a white trailer with riding lawnmowers in, at, at that property? We went to the, we went to the trailer, but I don't remember the riding lawnmowers. Okay. Do you ever? Recall uh, the trailer or any mowers having their serial numbers removed in items that you investigated. That would have been left up to him. I don't. I don't. I don't remember. I do remember some mowers being involved, but I don't. You don't recall personally, for the best of your recollection, ever reviewing uh, a trailer or mowers that serial numbers had been removed. Now we we did go. We did go out there we looked at a trailer we seized the trailer and if I'm not mistaken the serial numbers from the trailer were I think were gone because I remember having to get the state guy down here to look at the lawnmowers I remember something about a lawnmower or something being stolen but or being discussed. I, I don't. I don't remember that. All right. Um, do you remember anything about the trailers coinciding with the description provided by Alabama law enforcement? Does that ring a bell? I want to make sure I'm getting my not getting my cases mixed up. I don't, there was a case that uh, we worked that was supposedly taken from a construction site, the best I remember. But I don't remember if it was Alabama or where, and I, I don't remember if this was this was the trailer that that. I just, for some reason, I thought this trailer come from a Lowe's okay. or something out of um, somewhere. Because I, I remember tracking, I remember somehow tracking it, and you can even track it through the serial numbers on the tires on these things. Sheriff, to the best of your knowledge, did Ronnie Tungat, after this property was discovered on Limpock's residence or property, did Ronnie Tungat ever get on his phone to radio to call to have the property taken to the Sheriff's Department as part of his investigation to recover what appeared to be stolen property? I remember we took we took the trailer. We okay. had to. We either had to unload it or there was some stuff in it and we unloaded it or took it or I remember somehow or another it come to the sheriff's department. Did you ever stop him from making an attempted call to, to have the property brought in? I don't, I don't remember that. Okay. Did you ever tell Ronnie that you would um, 
take over and that you would uh, have Lim Proc bring the property into the Sheriff's Department himself. Mr. Griffith, I don't, I don't remember that, Mr. Griffith. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I remember us moving boxes and stuff out of the around in that trailer, and 